Nandini went back and slammed the door of the main door to enter her room. Then, with lamp in hand, she opened the secret door of the hunting hall and entered. Ravi Dasan, the wizard, is already a grotesque face. His appearance was made even more grotesque by fresh wounds on his face and head. Nandini looked at it and asked, Which what is this? Fresh wounds all over your body. She said. Queen. What is their surprise in this? Do you think that we, like them, spend our time lying luxuriously on Punchani mattresses drinking milk? It is a great thing that Parms were on and I have survived today. It is the spirit of the deceased Pandya Emperor that saved us to be alive today. No, Ravi Dasa. No. His spirit is with me forever and ever. Are you going to appear before me and fulfill your vow or not? Queen. What was your answer to that? I said, I will fulfill my vow today, or I will kill myself. Then it's a good thing we came to Odoti. Who's got the benefit of you taking your own life after all this time? It's a matter of making a decision or not. If they can't. Who said I can't? I will fulfill my vow. After that I will take my own life. No, no. There are so many things you can do after fulfilling your vows. You should do the world death baptism for Veerapandian's Thirukamaran in Madurai. Take care of it yourself. My job will be over tonight. My life will be over. Queen. All the potions in the treasure of Palyavatare must go to the mountain country. It needs your help. Even after the vow is over, you're telling me to cheat on my husband and live, which? Mother. Who is their husband? I, the worldly one, am married, I am speaking of Utam, who, regardless of all the mockery of people in the country and cities, fulfills my every vow. Queen. Palyavatarayar is not their husband. Veerapandiyar comes in my dreams every night and orders them to treat themselves as his Padamakishi. Wizard. He won't talk. Didn't you tell me how you got all these injuries? Last night we were attacked by a tiger in the Kalatok forest. Even though it was a tiger, its teeth and claws were very sharp. How are you brother? Did we perform Patabi Shekham for Pandya Kumar? We escaped by pushing the collapsed part of the school tower on that tiger. Alas! What a shame! You couldn't even defeat the East Tiger by standing up and fighting. Yes, Queen. We agree. How can we face the young tiger Aditha Karikalan face to face? That is why we have to use Tantrum Mantras. Devi. If we escape tonight, we will not stand a chance. If news of Sundara Kulan and Aralmas Hivarman comes, then Aditha Karikalan will not be caught by us. Ravi Dasan said. Wizard. What about them? Do you know anything for sure? Asked Nandini. By this time their lives would have ended, no doubt. When you and Devaralan went to Elam, you left saying this. That dumb lunatic over there kept coming after us and harassing us. That's why we couldn't. You said that the hero of the monkey clan had drowned in the sea. He also survived. You had a chance to take him down in the school jungle. You stopped him. I told you there was a major reason. I don't know what the main reason is. He has come here and is protecting Aditha Kari Kalan like an iron shield. Don't worry about it at all. The worry must be resolved. If not today, then never. Devi. What have you arranged? What shall we do? It would have been a great help to me if neither of you had come here at this time. That would be impossible. You don't trust me that much. We're here because of hope. We're here to get you safely away after the vows are over. We'll be prepared for any unexpected disruptions. You can call us for help at any minute. There will be no interruption in my plan. I do not want to be alive after the vow is over. Not at all. You must come with us. Otherwise. Sorcerer. I will not be in the Great Reaper's house for a minute after the vow ends. Then you come with us. How are you going to take me? At the end of this tunnel is the Ionur Temple. 
In the forest near it, we have prepared palanquin of the Queen of Palvur. I Tumpankari has already brought the palanquin outside to be set. We will carry the goddess who avenged the beheader of Vera Pandian on the palanquin. We will leave for Kolimela before dawn. How many of you are in this place? There are four of us here. After saying that, Ravi Dasan gently patted his hand. The people hiding behind the hideous dead beasts in the hall came out a little and showed their faces. Where is Parmswaran? Asked Nandini. I have stationed him outside. One Kalamukhan was doing Nishta in the Ayanur temple. It has become a big trouble to ask him to leave there. I have stationed Devaralan at the temple gate to make sure that he does not come there again. What do we care about Kalamugana? The wizard. Do you know the news about the great reaper? Asked Nandini. Ravi Dasan was a little startled and asked, What's the news? He said. Didn't he travel to Tanjavur? On the way, while crossing Kaladam in a boat, the boat capsized in a storm. Sambuvarian received news this evening that Palyavatarayar had not reached the shore and had drowned in the water. God? Is that what he was destined for? You haven't told me this important detail all this time. I don't believe it, wizard. I don't think the Avenger would have drowned in the loot. I don't believe that news either, queen. What if he swam to this side of the castle? Maybe he came here tonight? I'm a little worried about that. Ronnie. Don't you worry about that. I'm just now remembering. I saw a handsome man last night on the road from Kaladam to Tanjavur. He was wearing no clothes or ornaments. It was dark and I couldn't recognize him. Now that I think about it, it seems that the passerby must have been a great rascal. Then surely he won't be here tonight, will he? Never. You may be brave about that. What do you command us now? Wizard. You must wait patiently here. No matter what seems to be going on in my room, no matter how many voices you hear, don't rush in. If you do, things will get worse. Come and join me when I call. Queen. How do you voice? Wizard. You know it's been years since I've laughed uproariously. You wouldn't have heard me laugh. Devi. Only once I heard you laugh when that poor boy was talking to Van Dyea Van. Aha. Do you even remember that? Good. If you hear me laughing out loud today, open the secret door and come in. That's a sign that it's over. I'll still be smiling at Vandiyadeva. Don't you be surprised about that. Goddess. I kind of wonder what their intentions are now. If you wait a little, everything will be calm. If there is any unexpected interruption, then my cry will be heard. Come and join me at once. Let's do it, Queen. But I don't want to hear their cries. I want to hear their laughter, said Ravi Dasan, the magician.